We're taking a look at the THE pack from Spec Ops. THE stands for Tactical Holds Everything. Start out like I do most of my videos with the packaging. You'll notice that it's the pack with this little piece of cardboard tacked on the front. And in my opinion, that's the best kind of packaging. It gives you the information you need, but it's not a lot of extra garbage. So we'll just pop that off. And taking a look at what they give you in the, with, as far as the packaging goes. Um, of course, it's got the yellow Spec, App, Spec Ops logo, so it's easy to find. Uh, lets you know the features of the pack. Uh, and then all their contact information, because like all their gear, 100% lifetime guarantee on all of it. So let's take a look at the THE pack here and some of its features. So we've got some adjustable cinches on the side. Right now it's all compressed for shipping or whatever. You can see though that there's a couple rolls of uh, PALS webbing going down the side there. And then there's four at the bottom. We come over to the other side and open up these side straps, the compression straps. Again, you can get an idea of how big the pack is. I would say it's similar in size to this camel pack. With this one's full of stuff, but this is a camel pack mother load. As far as height, you got about the same height for as width. I suppose once you had this one packed full of stuff, it would be about the size of this mother load. As far as options though, well I won't get into that, it's not a comparison video. So we've got the compression straps open, I guess let's take a look at the backpack part of it. Um, first off, the things aren't detachable, so um, it's not like some packs where the straps and everything come off. We've got a sternum strap with a piece of uh, cordage because sometimes that can be something you want to get open quick. So you've got quick ability to cinch that one way or the other. You're using a Spec Ops buckle, made in America, high quality. It's also not real sharp. They've definitely thought about this when they designed it. So it's strong, but it's uh, ergonomic, I guess. Um, going down the strap, they do disconnect quickly. So if you do need to get the pack off, no problem. Again, using the Spec Ops uh, clip there. We've got a, another piece of cord with a strong cord lock that allows you to quickly adjust the straps. So a sign of a good pack there. They attach to an angled piece here. I'm not going to give away all their design secrets, but not just sewn into the pack, so definitely uh, designed to be used. Up at the top, it's sewn into a section again sort of well made i'm not going to get into the specifics so that somebody can copy the design but to let it be said it's it's well made it's not detachable but it's sewn on there well the angle seems to be okay for now i'll have to test it but the uh, angle that the straps come off can sometimes be a big thing on a pack since we're right up here there is a pretty heavy duty uh, handle for carrying the pack around Going back down again to the bottom of the straps, they uh, have a belt right away. The belt does have some metal um, cinches, I can imagine for strength. Uh, it's got the wide um, US made buckle. Not quite as fast to, to open and close, and right now it's brand new so it's still uh, strapped pretty close to the so I haven't tested out the belt to see how big it gets going down to the bottom of the pack underneath the pack you've got three rows of molly or pals webbing I don't see any grommets or anything to release water from the bottom of the pack or on the bottom of the big pouch so disadvantage, you don't lose water, but I don't know how many times your pack, how many how often your pack fills with water out here in the desert. That's not a big deal for us. Going back to around the pack here, the compression straps are all same at uh, Spec Ops buckles, so they all are easy to remove. You've got 
that handle up top. You've got a large pocket down the most of the majority of the pack. You've got a small pouch here and a small pouch here. Um, you've got the four rows of molly, two rolls of molly. On the front, you've got three rolls of molly on the um, bottom pack and on the top. You've also got some attachments plates between here. So, pretty decent pack so far. Let's dig into the insides of it. Uh, large zippers, well made. They've got a cover over them that doesn't get snagged, but it keeps the cover clean. Two, two throws. So digging into this first pocket, you see that the seams are taped. Heavy duty nylon all around. It's a large pocket, no extra doodads or anything. It's just for storage. Great for sub packs or whatever. Very large, you could probably put a football in there with no problem. You got Spec Ops lifetime guarantee and warranty information on the yellow card. The bottom pocket also has two zippers. Same idea, another large pocket. Plenty of room in there for even a pair of boots. Then we'll go to the large big pocket and it zips about two-thirds of the way down on either side. So not all the way down and I should mention that's the same with these top pockets. They both zipper about two-thirds of the distance down so that things don't fall out but you still have pretty decent access to the pouches. That was just getting a little bit bound up going around the corner there because it's all sort of still folded from shipping. Uh, the zipper didn't get bound or anything. Now we got the insides. One of the features of the uh, Spec Ops is the yellow insides. And the idea of that is that you can probably see just in the video how bright it gets inside from that yellow liner. And uh, it should make it easier when looking for gear at night with a flashlight. So taking a look inside of this one, it's yellow all the way to the bottom. It's a huge inside pocket or pouch and uh, lots of room in there. Up on the top there is a fairly substantial um, webbing. This you can maybe hear it. It's not loose at all. This is definitely going to last for quite a while. It's stitched in well. You got your Spec Ops lo uh, label with the telephone number and everything. Again, lifetime guarantee is on all this. And you know I like to turn bags inside out to take a look inside. So let's do that to this uh, Spec Ops T-H-E pack. And again, it may seem like a minor thing, but if you're going to be putting a lot of gear in and out of a bag, having a bunch of stray ends and loose threads and stuff is going to eventually start to deteriorate the materials that make up that bag. And I don't think you can get a better testament to uh, craftsmanship than this. I don't see one frayed cord, one loose thing, one misplaced thread. Everything's taped, looks great, and better yet, it's going to work well for a long time. So I guess in an extreme situation, you could just turn it inside out, but I think you can see how well that yellow panel works. Of course, this is... Uh, um, designed for a camelback or hydration system. I could easily put any type of bag in here. There's no hanger at the top, so that's one thing I notice is lacking. However, because there's these t uh, feeder holes for the tubes, I could easily string a piece of 550 over the top and through the bag to become a hanger if I had the style of hydration pack that required a hanger. A lot of them don't, though. And again, it's got this piece of closed-cell foam in here to give it some rigidity and a little bit of protection between the wearer and the stuff that's in their pack. You could take this out, I guess, if you really wanted it to be a little bit lighter weight. But I think this might actually be a pretty handy thing, um, you know, for just making a splint or something. Um, 
but this panel again if I could turn this inside out you know again very well made So this one costs about 200 bucks, uh, made in the USA, lifetime guarantee. I really can't imagine a better deal. Uh, seems like a very well made one, well thought out, well designed. And with the amount of uh, PALS webbing on it, really the options you have are just limitless. You can really make this a very modular pouch for really just about any task you can imagine. Uh, the, with the compression straps, it can be as large or as small as you need it to be. Uh, there's not a lot of extra weight here. I'm going to try to weigh it. I don't know how well it'll show up in the video. But for the size of pack we're looking at here and the quality of the pack, we're looking at 3 pounds, 3.5 ounces according to this scale. I'll check it one more time. Yeah, 3.3, 3, 3.5, 3, 3. so 3 pounds, 3 ounces, 3 pounds, 4 ounces. Not bad at all for a pack of this size. It's about 20 inches tall. Opened up all the way. You're looking at 10 inches, or 11 or 12 inches. And then it's about 13 inches wide. This one is in the Desert Digital Camo. It also comes in other colors. I think it's 20 bucks more to get it in the multi-cam. So it's the THE, Tactical Holds Everything, pack from Spec Ops Gear.